You ready? You ready? Once again, welcome back to another exciting episode of Lawrence's Let's Plays. Tonight, guys, I'm bringing to you uh, a brand new uh, mini-series I'm going to be doing um, the, on this brand new chapter that's been released to the game. This will be showing you uh, my team composition, my reasoning behind the heroes, and, and my placement for this brand new chapter that's been released, uh, The White Tower, I believe it's called. Until my return of viewers, thanks so much for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, thank you as well for stopping by. Nothing left to say other than I'm Lawrence. Let's play. Let's jump on in here. So... First off, I do want to point out, this is very important to point out, if you look at chapter 8, and this is uh, new, or new, this is uh, normal 8-14, so this is the final stage in chapter 8 against Calypso, the battle power recommended is 189,235. This is very, very important. Because if you look at chapter 9, 9-1 on normal, the recommended BP is 599,040. So, to newer players, I'm when I say newer players, I mean a newer free to play that's been playing like a week to two weeks, who probably doesn't even have access to this. Even if you were to gain access to this, this would either be impossible for you right now, or be extremely challenging, provided you got really good luck and got some solid heroes in your first to two weeks. Um, for players like myself that's been playing since Global, I like it. It, it's, it feels like it's going to provide a nice challenge to it. Again, I'm only on normal, so it's only going to get harder, but it's going to provide a combination of a nice challenge, and it's going to also be quite difficult as well, so I'm looking forward to it. So let's jump in here, and we'll go over the uh, map info a little bit. Common Destroyer, Melee Physical, Heavy Armor, show these new heroes and stuff. Iron Shell, Physical Damage Reduction plus 40%, so you want to put a Magic, uh, a magic Damage Dealer on this guy uh, because he's very resistant to physical damage. When attacked or awakened by patrollers, it shifts into combat mode, greatly increasing its movement speed. Monster Info, this golden construct is crafted from precious white enchanted stones with exquisite carving skills and imbued with magical knowledge. It can only be activated through the use of magic energy and will attack enemies with its sharp attack. The Patroller Bell, melee physical heavy armor, has absolutely no attack, that's not its purpose, has very low magic resistance, very high physical resistance. Alarm when attacked, it's tol it tolls the bell on its head, increasing its movement speed greatly and running toward the spawn point. Golem constructs within two tiles will be awakened and shift into combat mode. The patroller has a giant bell on its head made of precious white enchanted stones. When it's attacked, the bell will toll and wake up nearby destroyers. And finally, the White Tower Scholar, ranged magic white armor. You see they're very resistant to magic resistance, not so much to physical, so you're going to want to put marksmen on them, uh, or also like fighters. Uh, scholar, scholars of the White Tower typically wear white robes and blue coats. They're dedicated to pursuing the valuable magic knowledge held within the tower in their eyes. The destructive power of magic is merely a side effect of its wisdom. As you saw previously, I have already three-starred three this, so I'm just going to put it on auto fight. I'm going to explain the process as I go along, as the video or as the auto fight plays to tell you exactly what I did and why I did it. So Olag goes to the bottom to defend this crystal. I immediately put Vortex on him because Olag, you'll see at the top, I'm going to use Captain Reeve, who has better sustain. Uh, he can heal himself on, after so many attacks, and he also has double CC with crowd control or double CC crowd control with stun on his alt and constantly slowing with the brine shield. I put Vierna right above Olag down here facing forward so she can help uh, with these enemies that are not uh, very resistant to magic, that are highly resistant to physical. Captain Reeve at the top. I put uh, Comet in the back to deal with the enemies that are uh, very vulnerable to magic damage. You see I put Cetrum at the bottom and I'm facing him up because he's going to be able to hit those three lanes where you see the uh, two enemies there with the timer and the middle lane as well. So they're, they're handling business. And the reason why I put Oleg down there, like I said, is like he needs a little bit more love uh, from a healer. So that's why I put Vortex down there. These guys seem to be handling at the top. I got Nyx at the top to help with the enemies that are resistant to magic but not physical because she does quite a bit of damage. And then I activate Cetrum's all at the end. Clap, clap. Job done. That's it. Real, real simple. That's the team comp that I used. If you found this video helpful, informative, 
Uh, you know, please do leave a comment. Let me know all about it in the comments. Um, also, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel as it uh, greatly helps my channel to grow. And uh, it's seen some tremendous growth in the last month. So because of all the support it's been getting, I, I just want to say thanks to you guys again for the support. Uh, nothing really left to say. I'm Lawrence. This has been Lawrence's Let's Plays, and I am out of here. Oh, one last thing. Be sure to keep it locked right here at Lawrence's Let's Plays because I got more videos coming. And as I continue to three-star the stages, you'll get videos for those as well. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.